Greetings, man. My tribe be honored by your visit, though I know you got big matters to be attending to. Sneaking onto Theramore Isle be no easy task. Luckily, there be one who can help you. He waits for you by the shipyard. To reach him, follow the road out of town. We heard reports that the human fleet patrols the channel between the mainland and Theramore Isle. Be wary, man. They could stand between you and the sorceress you seek. Throm Ka, brother. I am Samuro. My humble skills are yours. Vol'jin entrusted me with a batch of explosive wards filled with an unstable concoction. If I can place them on some critical structures, I could create enough of a distraction to allow you to sneak across the channel in this boat. Jaina Proudmoor, I am Rexar. I bear a message from Warchief Thrall, the same Warchief you tried to kill. He is curious as to why your warriors encroach on our lands and threaten us with war. What are you talking about? I do not seek Thrall's death, nor do I have any intention of betraying the pact we made. Perhaps. But the fact remains that your ships and your warriors have been raiding our encampments on the mainland. I had to bypass a large encampment just to reach you. I assure you, I ordered no such attacks. Lead me to these troops, Rexar. I want to see them for myself. Rexar, those don't look like humans to me. Those snake creatures! They must have destroyed the camp and slaughtered your brethren. We're too late. The Serpents already killed them all. Wait, this one's still alive. Mistress Jaina? We found you at last. The Admiral will be... overjoyed. Is it even possible? We've got to get back to Theramore immediately. But what? Just trust me, Rexar. I'll explain when we get there. Hopefully we've made it in time. You've got to get word back to Thrall that- I don't understand. What's this all about? Those Marines. I know who they are, Rexar. They're- It's too late. He's here. Jaina. Bless the stars, I found you at last. When I heard that Lord Oron fell, I despaired. But I knew you'd find a way to escape. I... What is this? An ogre? Father, wait. Father? The Horde is no longer our enemy. The orcs have their own kingdom now, we... You have always been naive, my daughter. You aren't old enough to remember what these monsters did to our homeland. The orcs and their kin cannot be trusted. They must be exterminated like the mongrels they are. I won't let you do it, Father. You don't understand. I understand more than you suspect, my dear. Perhaps in time, you will too. Seize them all! This should do nicely. Now all I have to worry about are the harbor gates. Proudmoor's marines have closed the harbor gates. I'll need to bust them open before I can escape. If I can make it to the open seas, I should have no problem reaching the mainland. I'm glad you escaped, Rexar. And don't worry, we'll send word to Thrall about the Admiral's fleet.
If that human's planning on attacking Duratar, he'll find the warriors of the Horde ready to greet him. It'd be taking the Warchief some time to amass the Horde's warriors. You gotta gather what allies you can find before the Admiral makes his move against Duratar. Take this Zeppelin and travel to Mulgore. The mighty Torin who be living there will lend what help they can. Seek out the chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof. He will honor his oath to the war chief. Who are you, traveler? Why have you come here? I come in the name of Thrall, war chief of the Horde. His lands are in danger, and he calls upon his old allies to aid him. I seek the one known as Cairn. Do you know him? I am Cairn. But I can be of help to no one. Return to your war chief and tell him that I am dead. Just as my heart is dead. The barbarous centaur attacked our village recently. Our chieftain's only son, Bane, was taken captive. The centaur are cannibals and do not keep prisoners for long. We searched everywhere for a sign that Bane was still alive, but we found no trace of him. Poor Cairn has been lethargic for some time. Without his wisdom and leadership, I fear that the centaur will decimate our tribe. Perhaps if you could find some clue as to his son's fate, it might rouse the chieftain from his stupor. Find a boven wind totem out on the plains. He and his brethren will aid you on your search. With Cairn grieving as he is, many of our enemies have been gaining a foothold in our lands. The vicious harpies of the Stone Talon Mountains have been poaching our precious Kodo herds. The Kodos meat and hides are essential to our survival, but the Harpies slaughter the beasts and leave their carcasses to rot in the sun. It would be a great help if you would hunt the witches down and end their poaching once and for all. We are in your debt, warrior. The Harpies will not trouble us again for many seasons. Still, I fear that without our chieftain's leadership, our tribe's prosperity will fade. Greetings, Brother Windtotem. I was told you could help me locate Chieftain Bloodhoof's son. There may still be a chance that the boy lives, but we'll need to find the centaur encampment as quickly as possible. That's the centaur encampment. They could be keeping Bane in one of those cages, but we'll have to fight our way to them. Don't worry, Bane. We'll have you back to your father in no time. Bane, my son. I thought I'd lost you forever. I was an old fool to despair. Rexa. By returning my son to me, you have given me new life. For that I will ever be grateful. Now, you said that your war chief was in trouble, that the Horde needed the Torren once again. Well, Thrall did much for us in his time, and we will not fail him. My warriors will rendezvous with the war chief upon the battlefield. But I will be returning with you. Ah, uh, you return just in time, Rexar. Our scouts found this wounded ogre near the borderlands. Despite his wounds, he came all the way here seeking help. Must help. New warlord conquer clan. Kill many warriors. Lead clan to ruin. Brothers not survive. Me seek help. 
New warlord, huh? Don't worry, friend. I think I can help you. Have your witch doctors tend to his wounds, Vol'jin. I'm going to pay a little visit to his clan and meet this new warlord for myself. That must be the ogre's village. I should fit right in. You know welcome, half-breed. You know Stonemaul warrior. Look, I don't want any trouble. I just want to talk with your warlord. You want talk, Korgal? You get past us. You fight good, half-breed. You mock Nathal. Have weak orc blood in veins. Still, you strong. Why you come here? I've, uh, come to join your clan. I want to be a stone mall too. You got some ogre blood. You got right to join. But do you got the strength? We see, half-breed. We see. So, you want to join the Stone Maul clan? First, you take trial of strength. Need find the gauntlet. Harsh Valley full of big foes. Slave foes, run the gauntlet. That proves strength to us. Go now, half-breed. We see if you return. You got strength after all, half-breed. You worthy to be Stone Maul. Now you in. What you want from clan? I want you and your warriors to help the Horde battle the humans. The Stone Maul clan would be a great asset to the Orc War Chief. <laughs> Stupid half-breed. We ogres split from Horde long ago. They weak, soft. We no owe them nothing. Long as I rule, Stone Maul's no help, no orcs. Then perhaps you've ruled long enough. Korgal, as a member of the Stone Maul clan, I claim the right to challenge you for leadership. We had no real challenge in long time, half-breed. Breaking you be fun. We both take trial of blood. Me and you. No tricks, no magic toys. Just muscle and skills. You think me dumb. You think me slow. Now you see why Korgal rules clan. I underestimated Korgal's skills. I'll need to call upon my beasts to defeat him. Rexar! 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 I have defeated Korgal in single combat. I have passed the Trial of Blood. I rule Stonemall Clan now, and I command you all to war. You ogres arm yourselves and meet the Orc War Chief upon the plains. Blood and glory to the Stonemall Clan! You be tougher than I imagined, Rexar. The ogres be a great help when the battle begins. We just get word that the war chief and his forces set up the command post in the central basin. The tauren and ogres you gathered going to be joining them soon. Check in with Thrall at his base. The battle against Admiral Proudmoor's forces could start up at any time. Once again, you have done the Horde a great service, Rexar. I am in your debt. If you're willing, there's one last thing I need before the hammer falls. We've crafted a new standard for Duratar, a mighty banner bearing the symbol of the Horde. I want to place a shamanistic blessing on it, but I require a few items to complete my spell. Would you gather them for me? Of course, Thrall. I'd be proud to. These are perfect, Rexar. Just let me finish this spell. There, the blessing is complete. 
One last thing, Rexar. I want you to carry our standard into battle. I hereby name you Champion of the Horde. It is an honor, War Chief. I will carry your standard with pride. Look, Tar Ogar! Your efforts may have saved us all, Rexar. The Yogur and Toran conscripts you've rallied could turn the tide in our favor. Proudmoor's forces have established a stronghold due north of our position. Our scouts report that he's mobilized all of his standing forces for an attack on Duratar. War Chief, Admiral Proudmoor's forces have begun their advance. They'll be here any moment. Let them come. They'll find the Horde to be more than they bargained for. Rexar, you've earned the honor of drawing first blood. I'll hold the defenses here, but I want you to lead the attack against Proudmoor's base. Gladly. All right, you warriors. The hour of victory has arrived. Come, you Tauren. Rise up, you ogres. Today, you stand united with the Horde. Look, Tar Ogar! <laughs> Thromkar, War Chief. We've routed the human forces on the mainland, but it appears that Admiral Proudmoor and his marines have pulled back to the safety of Theramore Isle. I wish this was the end of it, Rexar. But so long as Admiral Proudmoor lives, he'll never stop hounding us. We must press our attack and lay siege to Theramore itself. I only pray that Jaina is safe. She had nothing to do with her father's agenda, but unfortunately, invading her citadel is the only option we have left. <laughs>